Hi, my loves, and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic medium, oracle, prophetess. Um, so what that means is I don't need the cards to read. I just use them here to connect with you guys and write for visual. Um, so you guys have seen the title. You already know why you're here. If you are new here, my loves, welcome in. Subscribe if you feel guided. Um, and definitely for everyone here, if the message vibes with you, be sure to like it. Um, because that's you claiming the message is yours and obviously tying your energy into the channel. Um, so the download that I got here for, for you guys was that, um, okay, basically you have, you have reached a point of mastery on some, on, on, on certain levels. You've reached a point of mastery and you currently are mastering your ascension. Okay. Ascend. Uh, ascended master. Okay. But here's the thing is that you, you, you have, you have like, you have put out and overcome so many fires. You have been burned and scorched in the flame and risen from the ashes, crash and burned Phoenix rising so many times. It's not even funny. The message here is that you have I'm trying to think of like how it was that I heard it and how it was worded. This is okay. I, let's just start with it's a time of glory. This is a time of glory for you. Okay. Um, when you see movies and like stuff like, right, like when there's a lot of like glory and things that like bring tears to your eyes, when there's victorious moments and, um, and, and moments of glory, you think of, of things like, the underdog winning the the championship, the underdog winning the race, the the one who was bullied, you know, overcomes everything and and comes out as like the, you know, the the swan that you know, it's the ugly duckling to the swan. It's the, you know, um, you know, if it's like some kind of like battle movie, war movie, right? You see like the the people who triumph. You see, they triumph, but they pretty much like had to fight tooth and nail to triumph, right? There's always a struggle is what I mean. There's always a fight. There's always, and it's a fight of survival. It's a fight of like, if I don't do this, I will be taken under. You know what I mean? So you guys have been like in the, in this fight per se your whole life. And now is the time of glory. Now is the time of reaping the rewards of the long battle, the war that you have been in, okay? Some of you guys out there, right? You guys are light workers, star seeds. You are literally here to fight spiritual warfare, okay? Some of you guys, you know, it's like, let me go back to the message. It was something along the lines of like every single, you have overcome every obstacle that you, you were meant to overcome here. Okay. Like the biggest obstacles, the biggest lessons that you were meant to come here and like battle and overcome and clear and heal. You've done that. So now this is your moment of, of glory. Okay. Um, Some of you guys are very powerful, you know, seers, psychic mediums. And a part of your light work here is to show people how to also um, use their gifts. Okay. So let's see what spirit has to say for you. And then we'll get into a little bit more of your, your, your victory spoils, your, your, <laughs> what you, what you, what your rewards are and all that. Okay. All right. So let's see what messages do you have a uh, spirit in regards to this message or just overall. Here's the collective need to know <clears throat> the sun. See the happiest card in the deck and then the tree of life. super connected. You're connected to everything. The tree of life is connected to everything that lives, right? You're very connected. I'm actually going to read this card because there's like a really beautiful energy like 
with the messages in this particular deck. It's the Mystical Shaman Oracle. This is card number 53. So breaks down to that eight. So something about infinity, right? Uh, infinite abundance. Stepping into your infinite self. Okay. All right. So it's, this is about like, this is about coming out of your cave. Okay. Because you are, you are, this is your glory moment. This is your time to shine basically with the sun. This is your time to shine. And it literally says that. Have you been hibernating? Have you been introspective? It is time to come out of your cave and savor the, the, the life giving light of our star. The sun rekindles your passion and your creative energy. Life is calling you to shine your light and to add your lightness and humor to the seriousness around you. Get out and play. The sun is acknowledged by many cultures as the foremost masculine force. In other traditions, it is seen as the feminine in her full power. Either way, it is the most brilliant light for all beings and allows life to sprout from the dark, feminine earth. It can be gentle and warming, close to sunrise or sunset, fall or winter, or it can be destructive, as in zenith during a scorching summer. Have you been shining your light for too long? Remember that daylight is only one half of the day. The night must have her equal time, and she offers us her gifts as well. Be careful not to be blinded by your light or the light of others. Do not become enamored with yourself or worship others. Beware of your shadow. Revel in the midday glory, but do not be afraid of the waning of the light at dusk. Okay, so basically what I'm getting here is um, this is your guys' time to shine, okay? But, you know, spirit does remind us of, of being humble um, and not becoming, you know, enamored with self, okay, is what it says here. Um, or to worship other people, right, like in this regard, right? So basically just like don't go don't go outside of yourself too much kind of a thing. But the biggest thing here is the sun energy. It's the solar energy. It is the power center, the solar. It 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 energizes. It fuels. And it's happy. So that's what it is. It's like come out of your cave. It's time to like be happy. Like this is your glory time. But what the universe is saying here is for some of you guys, in order to receive your glory and your rewards, okay, for everything that you've overcome, the universe is very magical and the universe can literally orchestrate things to where, you know, people or something just shows up at your door, right? But we do have to co-create. And so for some of you guys, it's about getting out there, meaning like just get out and have fun, whatever that means for you in whatever way that means for you, okay? And the universe will do the rest. That's what they're saying here. We will bring the sun to you. We just need you to get out and live life a little bit. The sweat lodge, oof, I love the sweat lodge card. Are you kidding me? You had 53 and now you have 54 coming out right after that. The sweat lodge, all right. There's something here about cleansing and purging. I love the sweat lodge, you guys. We work, um, I mean, I haven't been for a while, but like it's a sweat lodge that we go to um, here on the coast in California. And it's, um, you know, a private ceremony. I mean, anyone can come, but it's like through word of mouth, right? And it's our Lakota friends, the Lakota tribe. And they, they do it. So it's very powerful. Stepping into the sweat lodge is essentially stepping back into the womb. It's the black womb of no thing, the womb of the mother. And it is cleansing and purifying while you are in the black womb of no thing. And it is hot, you guys. It is very hot and steamy. <laughs> it is fucking awesome. But there's moments where it is unbearable, or at least you think it's unbearable, right? So I feel like this can resonate, just like the sweat lodge, just like the heat. You've had many moments where you felt like you couldn't go on. 
you felt like this would absolutely break you, that you were never going to be able to pick yourself up from this. You couldn't see life beyond, right? That's the message. It's like no matter how unbearable things have gotten, you have persevered and now this is your time of reaping the reward of what you've persevered and for showing other people that it's possible to persevere from the situations that you have overcome, grew from, healed from, right? You're showing other people that it's possible. It's a part of your light. It's a part of your gifts. It's a part of why you're also being rewarded so heavily. And when I say heavily, I mean heavily. A lot of you guys out there, what you were sent here to do and what you've overcome is very substantial work as far as transmuting and balancing the energies here on earth. Let me read the sweat lodge real quick since we're like right here anyways, it's, it literally came out. And look at you guys, it's on page one, one, and then one, 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 10 and one, 11. All right, <clears throat> with the sweat lodge, the medicine that comes with this card, life is offering you a second chance. Holy shit, 11, 11 on the timestamp. Life is offering you a second chance and we're at 111 on the page. Take it. Since this chance may not come your way again for a while, Mother Earth is calling you into her womb and inviting you to incubate as long as needed for a spiritual rebirth. Gift yourself time to be with your darkness, your fears, your pain, and your seeds of beautiful potential until you come out of the other side free, wise, and full of creativity. This is a time to journey inward into the dark and hidden places of your soul to reconnect with the ancient earth wisdom. You can also create a sacred and intimate space in the dark by lighting a candle. Observe what emerges and without judging it, invite it to bring you its gifts. You are being offered an opportunity to shed and heal from the aspects of your life you have outgrown. Do not worry that you will be consumed by the process. The essence of this card, the sweat lodge represents the womb of Mother Earth. Volcanic stones are heated in a fire outside, then brought into the lodge and placed into a shallow hole in the center. The center of, by the way, the center of that hole inside the womb of the sweat lodge represents the navel where the umbilical cord goes. Participants sit in complete darkness around the red hot stones to sweat away old habits and beliefs and heal disease. When you return humbly to the womb of the mother, you are offered second chances. This is a rebirth. Something has been incubating and it's time to be birthed. Beautiful. Wow. Powerful. This is very powerful, you guys. The sun and the sweat lodge. Funny because the sun was all about coming out of your cave. And the sweat lodge is telling you to go into the, not the cave, but into the womb of no thing, the mother's womb, mother earth's womb. So coming out of, of hermit energy, but going in and allowing yourself that release and that healing energy, meaning some of you guys literally need to Google and look up where they might offer sweat lodges around your area, okay? They do have them. I know that they're not like, you know, like a thing like that is just like commercialized and you can like Google it and it's like all over the place. But I'm telling you guys, it is so healing. It is powerful. And I have done the, the sweat lodge, but the like the sacred Chinupa ceremony with the Lakota tribe, I mean, that is powerful. And I honor it. And you guys, the healing that comes from it is just, wow. Okay. I love it too, because you guys know I'm Gypsy Cowgirl, right? And I love the show Yellowstone. And I love that the Yellowstone um, show in Montana, like, like, you know, like where it all takes place, like in the show, like the Cowboys and Indians, right? The old West, but the Indian tribe that is in the show that they work with is the Lakota. And so it's very near and dear to my heart, the show, because I'm cowgirl and I love the cowgirl cowboy life, but I'm also very big on the shamanic way, the Native American way, right? So I love that they combine the two. And even in that show, they they have the Lakota tribe, like they they show like the um 
the sweat lodge they build sweat lodges and they go in and they do the sweats and it's really neat to see like on the show too i'm like oh my gosh i love that that they're like you know sharing this with people oh my god and as i'm literally talking about all this we get the soul retrieval card that's what shamanic work is it is soul retrieval work helping to retrieve parts of the soul and heal. Some of you guys, that's a part of your light work. You're meant to be shamans. You're meant to go through the medicine wheel and become shamanic healers. Get back in touch with your shamanic ways. But I want to get back into, I want to talk more about your glory because this is everything that is helping you, assisting you. The sun is like your happiest days are here and ahead. The sweat lodge is allow yourself to go within and release and purge and heal what needs to go. But quite literally, like they said, if you can't go to an actual sweat lodge, it's okay. You guys can sit in a dark room, okay? If you want to, even put on some space heaters in the room. Get the room really warm and heated, right? Where you are almost like sweating hot. Because that's what it's like in the sweat lodge. Not nearly, I mean, that won't get you nearly as hot as an actual sweat lodge. But I'm just saying like the idea of it. And then in the dark room light the candle so all you have is a one little light in the center of the room right and again it, it, it creates it it represents the navel the belly button the cord the center all right so let's see what the soul retrieval card says and then i'm going to get into some more cards all right <clears throat> so again on page 100 and then one one so again we have one 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 there's definitely massive new beginning energy here for you this is like the kind of energy, you guys, where it is it is beyond your wildest dreams. And I know that I might sound like a broken record right now in my readings when I say this, but it's the damn truth. It is so true. You guys just need to open up and be like in that space. And a lot of you guys are, which is why this is here. Okay. Soul retrieval is a practice that helps you recover a part of yourself, your energy, your enthusiasm, and your innocence that you have lost. At first, we'll use soul retrieval to recover from our hurts and heal our childhood wounds. Later, we learn to journey to recover our original nature, that self that never left the Garden of Eden, who still speaks to the rivers, to the trees, and to God. When we return to Eden, we are a whole again. You are no longer fragmented. See, this is what I'm talking about, my loves. You guys have been doing the work. Now, we throughout life are always healing and ascending and picking up and retrieving the broken, fragmented pieces of soul and self. But a lot of you guys have mastered so much through your healing work. You've gone within the womb. You've been in the darkness. That's why they're saying it's time to come out and live. Take what you've learned, healed and grown and, and, and make use of it now. Apply it. Right? A lot of you guys already are doing that. You are no longer fragmented. You are one with creation. You have healed the cause of the pain you feel, so you do not need to dwell on it any longer. Really, it's true. If you are still hovering over an old wound, find a new flight path. Don't be distracted with the little stuff you've already mastered. Go for the big one, the journey back to Eden. And the medicine behind this card, meaning what they suggest you do or whatever. When when did you compromise that you truly believed in to be loved or accepted by someone? Think back over your life and find the time or times when this happened. Vow never to compromise your integrity again. What have you agreed to in the name of love that you know is deeply wrong? Make it right this instant. See? They're acknowledging the fact that you have grown and healed and that you've come into a state of oneness with self, your own twin flame. Masculine, feminine, balanced and healed is one. And now you're ready. You are ready to, re to receive this. You are ready to receive the millions of dollars, the, the, the divine counterpart. You're ready to receive the soul growth, the magic potions. You're ready to receive the magical insight and powers and, and the energy that, you, that you're that you capable of wielding. Like this is like massive. This is like you guys stepping from like Harry Potter to like Dumbledore, 
okay? <laughs> like, for real, for real. Harry Potter to Dumbledore, okay? You know, even though Harry Potter was like the great wizard and all that, right? But you guys get what I mean. This is not about like little tiny, like plain small and peanuts. No, this is like heavy hitting stuff. This is big stuff, all right? So let's see what kind of abundance is flowing towards you right now. All right, so you know what? Let's do some Kipper. I'm gonna do some Kipper. I'll do some Kipper and then we'll do some Rider Weight. Ooh, adjudication. And then a love message. Well, some kind of message. Ooh, marriage bottom of the deck. All right, so what I'm hearing for some of you guys, or at least one of you guys out there, um, you're you're going through a lawsuit and you're gonna win the lawsuit. All right. Um you know, obviously this is like <laughs> an entertainment channel, right? But like, I'm getting that. That's the message that I got. So if you're in a lawsuit, they're saying that it's, um, what I'm getting is in the bag. Okay. So, all right. So that could be for some of you guys. This could also have to do with a custody, some kind of custody battle. All right. Um, yep. I'm getting enough injustices, enough injustices. So whatever you're concerned with right now, um, let go and let God. That's what this is. Let go and let God. All right. Three, three. For a lot of you though, you, you, you already, oh gosh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on my sign. I saw the sun. You guys like my new sign though? It's so cute, huh? For Valentine's day, little love arrow, little love arrow. It's a little arrow and it says love and then the little point of the arrows right here. Um, so yeah, so you you need not be concerned and you need not worry. Um, again, go let, allow all of your fears, your worries, all of the thing, and go into the womb. Give it up to the womb. Release it in the womb. The mother's womb. And I I really do, you guys. Like if if you can, if you can, if you know of anything or like in the area, like you know, I don't know. Like you can probably Google it and. Or, you know, maybe ask on like social media or I don't know, but it is very sacred and it's a very beautiful thing to like be a part of, you know. My roommate goes qu quite a bit. Um, I'm always working though, like especially like on the weekends, you know, but like again, <clears throat> it's just, it's been, um, It's been freezing us cold and storming and, and rainy and, and, and wet. But anyways, I, I am being called to, to get my booty over to the sweat lodge soon. For sure. There's some stuff. Unexpected income. There we go. Now we're talking. See, let it go. Anything that's like concerning you right now, it doesn't matter. It's not that it doesn't matter. It's just that you're being called to just be in this state of, of allowing and knowing. Like, first of all, like allow yourself to like take a step like a moment and look at the bigger picture here look at how far you've come in your journey and your life and your healing and your and your you know growth crone i'm getting crone okay some of you guys could be seeing hecate a lot all right you might be resonating with hecate a lot but i am getting that like you are these old souls, these crones, these um, very like wise, ancient old souls. You're like sages. You're very wise in your in your wisdom and your spiritual wisdom. You know, people come to you, even like older people in age, and they've been coming to you throughout your whole life, asking your advice, telling you their 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 problems. You know, stuff like that, wanting to know what you think and things like that. And you may have been like, uh, I don't know, I'm like you know, seventeen. You're like forty, right? But it's because you you are they 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 were connecting to your soul, the crone energy, and now you are just like this like full of wisdom, um, spiritual like guru type energy where people really benefit from like meeting you and being around you. But this right here is that unexpected income. It's exactly what I was talking about. This is your glory. Spirit guides and angels of the highest white light. In fact, give us the energy, please, around 
what I was receiving um, about this is your time of glory. You've overcome what you've needed to overcome. And <laughs> wealthy man. Okay. There he is. Okay. So for some of you guys watching this, you're uh, going to be coming into great wealth. All right. That's this unexpected income. All right. I'm hearing innovators. You have good ideas. Patenting ideas. I'm getting that. Something about patenting an idea. You're, pat you're going to a patent lawyer. Pathway. Yeah, this patent, your ideas, everything that's like taking place right now. Look at that. It's opening up pathways for you. But this is that. It's an unexpected. Um, it's like you're not expecting it, but here it comes. Here it comes anyways. Your path, this is your, this is your destined pathway. This is your divine pathway. This is the transformation. This is the golden pathway. Everything is changing for you right now. This is your time of glory and everything is changing. Some of you guys, you're going to, I'm seeing you actually like you're, you're actually like building uh, your own home. You're meeting with contractors. You, you, you're like laying out designs of what you want. Everything is changing for you. Some of you guys are moving at this time or you're going to be moving. Okay. Some of you guys, you can, you know, you're, you're, you're leveling up in life. I'm hearing business is booming. And as soon as I said booming, the card went boom. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bu business is booming. You are the privileged lady. We saw the wealthy man earlier. That's the counterpart. You are the privileged lady. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. It's like empress energy. You're in this receiving mode. And you surely are receiving. Great, I'm hearing inheritances, but great abundance. Great reward. This is your glory. You're looking good. Again, look at your house. I mean, you're going to be building your own home. Buying your own home. Making investments. Some of you guys have already been doing that and you're, it's all paying off right now. But yeah, it's like the universe is like showering you right now with like just blessing after blessing after blessing. I'm hearing out the mud. You guys came out the mud. Like you weren't, like some of you guys may have been born into money. That doesn't, you know... It doesn't define us, right? Like we, we get to define ourselves, right? Just like being, um, you know, born poor, right? Essentially doesn't define you, right? It just is who you've been kind of a thing, right? But what I'm getting is you guys literally, when it came to money, like you guys didn't have that luxury when you grew up, okay? And now... You're, you're, you're in this place and coming into this place where you can afford things. There is no lack energy around it. And if, if you do still have that, you got to let it go quick because it's going to, it's going to create a blockage for you with what, what this is and the incoming energy. All right. What else spirit? Tell us about the sun. Tell us about the sun. Tell us about all the rewards that, that they get and that they're going to be receiving since they've come into wholeness with self. Look at that. Look at the house. I told you. I saw you guys building your own homes, bat or uh, making out plans with the with the contractor. There it is, the house. Your stability, your foundation. It's strong. But it's also about your home. A message arrives, good news. It makes something official. It's an official document or official news or an official letter or a contract. Okay. I'm getting officiator too. So you guys could be officiating something here soon. Um, something, it could be marriage, something, the mature man. Yeah, there's a mature energy here. Someone wants to, you're the privileged lady and you need someone mature and on your level. And that's what this is. Someone says something here that's very official. It's a very, as a matter of fact, 
in uh, some kind of letter or text or some kind of communication here. False person and despair, yeah. So <clears throat> again, this... I feel like this is like someone who like wronged you, you know, who feels like they really like messed up with you or something in some way. I don't know. It could be anyone, but they see you as a privileged lady and they see what you've done with your life or how you've changed and you know, how you've overcome all this stuff and how you're like living the, your, your best life or something like that. And they want to like, they just want to make, it's like they, they want to make amends. Yeah. So they want to talk family room. They want to have a talk. Okay, the main male is showing up here. So this could be a masculine energy for you. Who, um, yeah, they, this person is like thinking of you a lot. And uh, then you have sudden wealth. Okay, sudden wealth and great fortune. So I'm going to dig into this because this right here is what I'm talking about. This right here is something unexpected. Ching, 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 777. Seven, seven great wealth. I mean, this is abundance coming in. It's about setting you up for life. Yeah. I'm, I'm hearing never have to worry again, you know, and you know, you don't have to worry anyways, you guys, you don't have to worry anyways, right? Let's get some tarot. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Please clarify. I'm also getting here with the family room that for some of you guys, um, your light work in this lifetime is some kind of like guidance. I don't know, counseling guidance, um, a mentor in this regard. Like this could be like with, um, you know, like maybe like a drug, like a rehab center, AA, um, I'm hearing sponsor. You, you might like be someone who like sits with like groups of people and you like share and you talk, but you build strength and you give hope. Like that's what this is. You, yeah, this is something about, yeah, see, the fool. It's, it's your, it's your journey in this lifetime. Okay. It, it, this could, this is a part of your fresh start, but also with the fool attached to this family room, again, discussions, wanting to have some like really personal conversations here. For some of you guys, you know, you're generational curse breakers, right? For a lot of you, actually, if this message is for you. And, and you're showing, like, the people in your family, like, it's like you're assisting in their own soul retrieval. You're assisting in their own um, healing. You're showing them, like, sh like how to do shadow work. Like, you're, 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 you're awakening the people around you. You're triggering the people around you, but you're awakening the people around you. Okay? And, again, that's, that's the more rewards, The Fool, a fresh start, a clean slate. This is trusting in the unknown, listening to your intuition. All right, tell us more about this great fortune and great wealth. Two of Swords and then the Emperor. Some of you guys are at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads of taking action towards something and the message and the confirmation for you from, from, from spirit is, is do it. Take action. Take the leap of faith. Don't procrastinate. Don't stall. Just like that card earlier said, it said act now because an opportunity like this may not come around or it may not, like it may not come again or something like that, right? It said to act now. So this could also be someone taking an action towards you, okay? But it's like it's like don't don't pass this up, don't pass this opportunity up. Act now, something like that, and then watch the rewards that come in. This is great fortune. You have unexpected income, sudden wealth, and great fortune here. And showing up as the privileged lady type energy here. Meaning you have healed parts of your feminine. Like where, where you're now in this like receiving mode. Okay. All right. 
show us the uh, energy around the collective's um, finances incoming. The Hierophant and the Devil. You have cleared soul contracts. And so now you are in this receiving mode of receiving what you've accumulated. It's just sitting up here in your kosh. And now it's being hand delivered to you by the universe. I'm hearing don't be greedy. Stay out of the ego and don't be greedy. You are being rewarded for all of the karmic loss. Loss that you've endured attached to karmic energy. See? Holy shit. Bottom of the deck. There you go. Literally an eight here. Six of pentacles. Infinity. I said something about infinity earlier, right? With the eight. You are in the mode of receiving your divine inheritance. You're receiving glory. You're receiving rewards. You're receiving material wealth. What's the energy around the collective's finances there you go see you're going to be it's going to bring so much warmth and love to you oh my gosh speaking of warmth and love they're showing up together oh wow okay so something unexpected also here let's just go right into it spirit what's the energy around love and romance Something very unexpected. Your life is, is changing very rapidly and unexpectedly for, for a lot of you guys. Like, it just is. And it's for the better. I mean, this house right here is a very beautiful, stable home. I mean, that's like wealth. Okay, that's great wealth. As soon as I say that's great wealth, the sun comes out, which is the biggest, happiest card in the deck, most powerful card. Okay, as far as a yes card goes and, and for happy happiness. And then bottom of the deck is the four of wands. The fourth house is your home. It's your four walls. It's real estate. It's family. It's right. But this right here is showing me that you are coming into a very grounded, stable part of your life. And you are going to be very happy at this time and in the future right now because you're receiving... I mean, first of all, there's fun, there's good times, there's celebration, there's marriage, engagement, um, you know, getting together with family, friends. There could be, a, you could be seeing a lot of 11-11. There could be a twin flame energy here, right, as well. But there's just, for me, confirmation that you're going to be so grounded and stable and that this is like, yeah, you're going to be living your best life right now because what you're receiving is huge. It's huge, Okay. It's huge. For a lot of you guys, your 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 world is like there's I just posted a video about things ending at this time because you're going through a, a transition that's like a for betterment and alignment. And I kind of get that here that like everything was crashing down and apart, but it was because you needed to level up. Like it's because you're like, let's say your living situation is, is falling apart, right? Well, it's because you're meant to level up to a better, bigger, more aligned and destined living situation. I say that because the lightning's literally crashing down on the squirrel's living situation, but see all the butterflies, monarchs, they're showing the squirrel. It's because it's time to change. It's time for transformation. And now you guys are getting all this unexpected kind of unexpected. It just happens very quickly and unexpectedly is what I get. There's like a lot that happens all at once. A, a lot of, of this energy, jackpot, 777, great fortune, money opportunities, collaborations, relationships, falling in love. Look at that. After the four of wands, 10 of pentacles. Okay. You, it's like the student becomes the teacher, right? You've been, you've been showing people, people have been watching you and, and you've been showing them the way in a big way, you know, but you, you've been the student and now it's like, you're, you're, you're ready to level up. You're ready to graduate. Right. And, and you guys know what I mean. And you guys feel that in a big way. I know it. You're going to be like, hell yeah. Like I do. I feel that like my life is changing. 
I'm being handed like, you know, my happiest days, my biggest blessings. Okay. This all also for me is showing me that like you guys are very confident in your lives and in yourselves at this time with the solar energy here, the solar plexus. You're also open. You're very open and the universe knows that. Like you're very open to receiving and the universe has heard your your call per se, all right? They're like, okay, like you want it? Here it is, right? Kind of a thing. Um, so let's go ahead and wrap it up, my loves. Um, again, if this is your message, claim it as your message, right? I claim this. I affirm this. This is my message. This is my timeline. I am receiving the double sun energy in this reading. I am receiving, okay, my divine inheritance. I am receiving. Money flows to me easily and effortlessly. I never have to worry. Again, if you can, look up Sweat Lodge. Visit a Sweat Lodge. Okay? But it has to be like a real Indian Sweat Lodge. Don't go to like a steam room at the gym, you guys. No, I'm talking about an actual Native American Sweat Lodge. Okay? Like they said, with the big fat lava rocks. And, and the way that they do the lava rocks and carry the lava rocks in is like this with two deer antlers. Carrying these heavy ass, crazy hot rocks. And then they have to carry them in. The sweat lodge doesn't have a doorway like that, by the way. It's this tiny little doorway. You have to get on your hands and knees and crawl in. So they have to, it's like crazy, you guys. It's like amazing though, to be a part of and to, it's an honor and it's so powerfully healing. So powerfully healing. And the people that you meet are just, ugh, like act like earth angels, right? So anyways, um, I wanted to get a couple little romance angels for you real fast, like before we go. Um, tell us about this glory for the collective. Separation and trust and then calling in your soulmate. So for a lot of you guys, again, your reward, your glory, and, and the fact that you guys are in this reciprocated balanced energy and you're in this receiving energy, part of that receiving is what you've called in, which is your soulmate meaning your divine counterpart. We could have many different soulmates. We only have one twin flame, but we could have many different soulmates, right? Even if you have a twin flame, but this person coming in is someone that you've been in separation from and the universe, but you've trusted. You you learned to have faith, belief, and trust. That's what this is. The Hierophant was belief, trust, that this was gonna come to you and now it's here. It is actually here and this is how it's gonna make you feel. That's why we have them together showing up and the fool and him right this is unexpected changes happening you know very quickly and powerfully in your life so just trust but yeah no longer going to be in separation and even if this isn't someone like i mean it's a past life soulmate for you even if you don't know this person it means you're not going to be in separation from your one true love that's what this means whether you know this person from before or not it doesn't matter you're no longer going to be in separation from your one true love right so anyways, my loves, this is what I have for you. I send you guys so much love, so much light. Again, um, congratulations on all the work that you guys have been doing. You know, it is not easy, right? If it was, everyone would do it. But the work that we're doing as a collective is impacting so much. And we're just showing people the way by living our way, right? So that's what you guys have done. And I'm telling you, you guys, like I'm hearing gateway, like you guys are open, like there's a gateway open, like a portal open right now for you. And the universe is just throwing stuff through this gateway, this portal towards you. Good stuff, abundant stuff. So get ready. And what I'm being guided to tell you right now is to, it's very important for you guys to stay in self-love right now. Do things that like show that you love yourself right now. I promise you and watch how quickly things show up. So I love you guys. I will see you soon. Bye.